Welcome to the second episode of Money Men, a standalone audio drama series. If you're enjoying the listen and want more binge-worthy fiction podcasts, please subscribe to our channel. And now, sit back and enjoy part two of this nine-part series. Hey, sweetie. I'm home. I'm in here. What are you doing in here? Just thinking. About what? The software you're using. To find Lance. What would you do if you actually found him? Well, I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. Then why use it at all? Because I have to know. You have to know what? Where he is. Why he did it. But it could take years to find him. If I find him at all. And yet you press on. I need a break. Yeah, we should we should go somewhere. Hawaii or Cancun or something. Something tropical. You know, order fancy drinks with umbrellas. Hmm. <laughs> no, I was thinking more about a break from us. Oh. I'm sorry. You did nothing wrong. Please, I'll make the money back. You know that, right? I know, but... What kind of a future is it until then? It's mostly the 401k. What other choice do I have? You don't. It's just that... I I can't be with someone who... Has no money. Who has no drive. You're miserable. You hate your job. You hate your boss. You were the one who told me to take that position. Ugh, as a stepping stone. I told you what I wanted to do. Ah, right, the app thing. Video games. An interactive platform that integrates gaming and coding. We've been through this before, and every time I lose. Ugh, because it's a pipe dream that won't work, because you don't know the first thing about that industry. I don't want to relitigate this. I don't want to either. I know this is bad timing, and I hate myself for that. But the truth is, I've been unhappy for a while. Why didn't you say something? I've tried. I don't know how many times. It never seems to get through. Well, can we talk now? We could. We could talk it to death. But it wouldn't change the way I feel. Taken? It's all yours. I'm Bridget. Wayne. You're American? Canadian. This must be a nice change. To be honest, I'm sort of an expat these days. Let me guess, you're running from a doomed relationship? Retired a couple of months ago, and now I'm just sort of island hopping. Retired? My, my, lucky you. You'd think so, wouldn't you? I'm finding this whole experience a little less exciting than I thought it would be. I have an idea. You should come take a tour of my boat. That's very... forward of you. You know, I have been on a boat before. Like that one? The Nostrovia? That's yours? Not exactly. It belongs to my boss, but he's away on business. What is a yacht like that worth? Offhand? I would say the Nostrovia is worth somewhere like $150 million. Jesus, what does your boss do? This month, cryptocurrency. Do you know anything about crypto? Not a lot. A little bit. Come on, I'm bored, and this is my first day off in a month. I promise you, it'll be worth it. That is one amazing yacht. So you'll come? I'm having a hard time saying no. Then say yes. Hey, I'm taking off. Mia, you're still here? Oh, how did you get this late? Have you been working this whole time? Studying for the last two hours. Oh, that's right. Uh, When's the test? July 10th. 
Are you nervous? Yes. Off to film school. We're really going to miss you. It's right up the road. And that's assuming I even get in. Oh, please, you will. I know you will. I watched your short. It was great. I'm jealous. Of what? All that wonderful debt I'm about to take on? No, you're building your career, which you totally deserve. And here I am, just sort of... stuck in mine. Sorry. No. Hey, listen, go home. Enjoy what's left of the evening. Promise me you won't stay too long. I promise. Now where are you, Lance? You can't hide forever. Barry? Where are we on Ecosystems? What do you want me to say? How far behind exactly? A week, maybe. Okay, I can spend most of tomorrow and the next day catching you up. That'd be great. I come bearing good news. We are now part of the Global Equities Incorporated family. It'll be announced later today, but I just wanted to give you the heads up. Are they laying people off? Any layoffs will be deferred for at least six months, so this is your chance to show them how valuable you are to the company. So does this mean we're going to hire some more help? Management wants to see what we can do with our current labor allocation. So nothing really changes then? You get to keep your jobs. And considering your performance as of late, I'd say that's something. All right, thanks for the heads up, Carrie. All right, I'll let you guys get back to it. That guy is such a weasel. Fuck this place. Thanks for listening to our very first fiction drama podcast, Money Men. If you're enjoying the story, make sure to check out our latest audio drama sci-fi series, Drum Run. Nominated as one of the best fiction podcasts of 2022, Drum Run follows seven third estaters as they embark on a seven-day suicide mission. And without further ado, back to the show. Hey, here's to still having our crappy jobs. Maybe this new company will be better. This new company is going to be, at best, as bad as Xanadu ever was. Maybe they'll prove you wrong. Mia. Their name is Global Equities Incorporated. They might as well just call themselves the First Order. What are your thoughts, Adrian? What? Oh, I don't know. Steve's probably right. It's going to be a disaster. Last round. I'm buying. And then I'm going home. Whoa. Debbie Downer much? The guy lost all his money. And his lady broke up with him. When did that happen? At least a month ago. He's not doing well. Yeah, well, which of us really is? At least you're getting out in the fall. Hey, are you all right? Not really. Money's gone. Ashley's gone. Job is an interminable nightmare. Sorry. You deserve better. No, I don't think so. I think I deserve exactly what I've gotten. That is not true. Adrian, trust me. You're one of the good guys. And look where that's gotten me. How worried should I be about you? I'm fine. It's not like I'm going to go swallow a bottle of aspirin and chase it down with gray goose. Wow, that is specific. Can you even OD on aspirin? Sends the liver into toxic shock. You have to do it in the bathtub, though. Otherwise, it's a real mess to clean up. Okay, so, like, really worried? Mia, I'm fine. Hey, come on. It's not all bad. Mm. At least you've got a really cute assistant. Very true. Oh. You think I'm cute? You're amazing. You're kind, and you love video games and violent movies and go-karts and those weird... Japanese puzzles you're always doing. And yes, you are very cute. 
I'm nerdy cute. What's wrong with nerdy cute? Nothing, I guess. You're nerdy cute. <laughs> you don't need to be nice to me because you think I'm going to go off myself. I wasn't doing that. And just so we're clear, you're not going to go off yourself, right? No, I'm good. We should probably stop having this conversation, though. It's probably an HR violation. And I'm kind of seeing someone. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's nice. He's fine. Whatever. Well, this is my lift, so... Adrian, it's going to be okay. Sure it is. Hey, Mom, what's up? No, that's definitely spam. Because it's been going around for years? Literally a decade? No. No, 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 do not send it to me. No. Yes, she's still gone. No, not yet. Wait. What am I looking at? That's him. Is it him? Wayne Reynolds? What the hell? Mom, I'm gonna have to call you back. Eddie Hernandez. Adrian Rosten? Yeah, been a few months. How's that revenge scheme of yours coming along? I sort of gave up. I'm not so good on follow through. <laughs> At least that's what my wife used to say. Eh, you're still separated? Why do you think I'm still here at Casa de Crap? Are you ready for your day to get better? Tell me you found that cocksucker. I found him. Where? Belize. Belize? Belize City. Son of a bitch. Belize City. And apparently, he's been busy. Doing what? Running a cryptocurrency exchange. Cryptocurrency? Uh-huh. Seems random. Yeah. I thought maybe you'd still want to partner up? Hell yes. I've got an extra room if you need a place to crash. A girlfriend moved out a couple months ago. A lot of fallout from this thing. Yes, there is. What's the room going to cost me? I kind of lost my job recently. What was it you did for work? Headhunter. You lost your job as a headhunter? That's ironic. Yeah. I thought the whole thing sucked balls, but yeah. I guess irony sums it up too. You know what? The room's free. Just promise me that we're going to get this guy, okay? If it takes me to my very last breath, we're going to get him. Then we're going to rip him right down to the studs. Money Men stars David Price as Adrian, Taran White as Eddie, Rebecca Futterman as Mia, and Colin Van Wy as Lance. For more of the best fiction podcasts, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for listening to this free full cast audio drama.